Welcome again. Right now we are reading from Luke chapter 22, verses 47 through 53. Jesus is arrested. Now we just came from another passage where Jesus was praying on the Mount of Olives. So he was praying earnestly. This was like his last prayers before the crucifixion. He was praying that he would get out of it, but he sacrificed his own will. He said, Father, not my will, but your will be done. He goes back, finds his disciples sleeping, and he's per very perplexed, and, he's, and he wakes them up, and he says, you know, pray that you enter not into temptation. So in that context, let's start reading at verse 47. While he was still speaking, a crowd appeared. He who, he, he who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He came near to Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, do you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Stop there for a second. Now, I've said this many, many times, and I've also you know, taught a lot of people about this. Now, you've got to be very careful with people who are overly sweet, overly syrupy sweet, you know. Here we've got Judas, one of the most, a lot of people might say he's one of the most evil men that's ever lived. The one who betrayed the Son of God. Uh, kissing Jesus. Kissing him. Sounds like such a very noble thing and such a religious thing, such a wonderful thing to do. Be very careful, my friend, of those who kiss you in a, you know, one way or another. Be those who are just overly sweet to you. Don't be foolish. Don't be taking, don't be, uh, don't fall into their trap, okay? And a lot of people, you know what? They are uh, bad people and they don't even know it. <laughs> they believe they're good people. Uh, that's the thing, and that's one of the worst things uh, when you come across people who believe they're good, but they're really not, okay? These people can be extra deceitful. Be careful when people are just overly sweet to you. This is, G Judas was overly sweet to Jesus here. Let's read on. Verse 49. When those who were around him saw what was about to happen, they said to him, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? A certain one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. Very detailed, his right ear. But Jesus answered, let me at least do this. He touched his ear and healed him. Jesus said to the chief priests, captains of the temple, and elders who came out against him, have you come out? against a robber with swords and clubs? When I was with you in, in the temple daily, you didn't stretch out your hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. So that concludes the reading of this passage. And as you go again, may God enlighten the eyes of your understanding, give you great revelation beyond all of your peers. And as you call upon him, may he show you great and mighty things. Thanks, Thanks again.